Hey kiddos, it's Farmer Friday and we are going to make some cool tractor art projects. Would you like to join us? I've got Silas here. He loves farming things. He's got his John Deere hat on and his t-shirt. You ready to start with us, buddy? Okay, so here's what you're going to need. We're actually going to be doing two projects. First, we're going to make a tractor out of toilet paper tubes. So we've got toilet paper tubes. If you don't have that, you could always use a paper towel roll. You could cut it in half. And you're going to need some green paint and a paintbrush. So Silas is going to get started. I'm going to put a little bit of paint. Silas, we need to see you in the video, buddy. Can you move in a little bit more? We're going, there we go. We're going to um, put a little bit of green paint onto his toilet paper tube. And he's going to cover the whole thing with green paint. He's covering that really good. You want to show them, buddy? How you're... There we go. He's painting his toilet paper tube green. Now, while he's working on that, I painted some a little earlier, and I've been letting them dry. So I've got some right here, some toilet paper tubes that are dry. That's going to be the base of our tractor in just a minute. Now, besides green paint and a paintbrush, and I'm going to move this off, you need some black paper and some scissors and glue. Now, you can keep painting, Sci Guy. You're good. I did not have any black paper. We've been doing so many art projects around here, but I did have this shoebox and it was black. So it was perfect because what I did is I cut out some tires for our tractor. So for each tractor that you make, you're going to need two big tires and two small tires. That looks good, buddy. Why don't you sit off to the side to let it dry and put your, I'll take your paintbrush. So Silas has two big tires. Here's your two big tires, Silas. And I have two big tires. And what shape are these? What shape are these, Silas? Spheres. Oh, well, he's thinking of a 3D shape. You're right. This is a 2D shape, so it's just a, it's a circle. Awesome. So you need two big circles, and then we already cut out two small circles. So here's Silas's two small circles and my two small circles. And once again, get creative. If you don't have black paper, maybe you have a shoebox like us. Maybe you have some black paint, and you can paint it black. In fact, if you don't have either of those, but you have some bottle caps, here's a bottle cap. You could use bottle caps for tires. Wouldn't that be cool, Silas? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our toilet paper tubes that have dried, and I am going, mom and dad can help you out with this part. They're going to want to cut a little part of the toilet paper tube so that it can bend up just like this. About halfway down the toilet paper tube, and it's like a square shape, okay? And then that sticks up. There you go. You got it, buddy. Silas is working on his. And then what we're going to do is Silas is going to make his one way. I'm going to make mine a little differently. You want to hold yours up, bud? Looks just like mine right now. But he wanted to, Silas, are you wanting to have that stay there or are you wanting that to be the top and add a, is a, a cab? Is that what you're wanting to do? So Silas is going to make a cab on his. He is going to cut this little square off right across here. So why don't you cut that off, Sci Guy? I'm going to leave mine just like this. So we'll show you two different examples, okay? We've got some tractor toys up here that belong to Silas because we're going perfect. So hold on to this. He cut this off. We're going to hold on to that, buddy. And now we're going to get our tires on. So I, I'm going to have you scoot back just a little bit so our friends can see your cute face. Can you guys see Silas? There he is. Okay, now I've got a hot glue gun. Hot glue guns are very dangerous for small friends to use because you could burn yourself. So I do not want you using a hot glue gun. Mom or dad can use a hot glue gun. Or you could just use runny glue, Elmer's glue. It just will take a little bit longer to glue on. So I'm going to glue on the back of my tractor the two, hold on one second, Silas, the two big tires. So here's the back of my tractor on that side. And now I'm going to flip it over. I've got some paint <laughs> on, on me. These aren't quite dry, but they're getting there. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to help Silas with his part. That's the, that's, yep, that's the front. There you go. Okay. Now, we want to put the small tires on the front of our tractor. Silas decided to start with the front. There you go. Be very careful. And here is what your tractor will look like. You'll have two small tires in the front on both sides and two big tires in the back. Okay, Silas, let's get yours on here. Let's get your big tires on there. Awesome. Mommy has gotten burnt with a hot glue gun before, haven't I? And you've yeah, even, got burnt yeah, like he, he got burnt using a hot glue gun. That's why we, we want to be very, very careful. Can you get up on your knees, buddy? And then maybe our friends will be able to see you even better. There we go. Okay, so here's Silas's. He's got his two tires in the back. Now, remember how we said he was going to make a cab? Um, my tractor is pretty much done for right now, ready to go. We could add a... Um, What's that part called? Smoke a smokestack. See, Silas knows all these parts. We could add a little smokestack. I could take maybe a straw. I just so happen to have camouflage uh, straws, and I could cut off a little piece and add a smokestack to the top of my uh, tractor. If you have something that reminds you of like a little pipe, a cylinder, 3D shape, you could add that. There's, there's, there's my tractor, okay? But now Silas is, we're gonna show you how to make a cab on his. He took some straws, or maybe if you, whoop, oh, you're right here, buddy. Or if you have some sticks, and we cut them down, and I'm gonna glue this part in. You're gonna glue it to the inside so that it's sticking up. Okay, Sci Guy, will you hand those to me? We're gonna need four all together. So there's one. Thanks for being patient with us, friends, as we build these and make these art projects. I hope you're having as much fun as we are. Whoa! That one went flying. Do you have two more, Silas? They need to be the same length, so we may need to cut another one. And I'm going to show, go ahead, you cut that one off. I'm going to show our friends what we're doing. So we're, we're putting these straw pieces on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that so well. Um, whoop, hold on, buddy. Let, let me get the glue on there. I don't want you getting burnt. Okay. And then remember that little square piece that Silas cut off earlier? Silas, do you have that square piece from earlier? That's going to be the roof of our cab. So... I'm going to take and put some glue up on the top of those um, straws. And I want to set it on there, buddy, because I do not want you getting burnt. We've kind of got a gluey mess going on right now. I'm going to stick that other back one in. Can you stick that one in? Is it moving? There we go. I'm just going to hold that on there for a minute. Now, we may have to add some more glue, but show them your cab, Silas. He's got here, the, look up there. You know, hold up your tractor with a cab. How cool is that? So that is a different way that you can make your tractor. Well, Silas has his tractor, and I have mine, but now we're going to do the second part of our tractor art project. This is gonna be fun. Silas, can I have you move over there onto your knees for this next part? You will need, we're going to set our tractors off to the side, you will need a paper plate and some brown or black paint, and then you will need tractors, because we're going to be using the tractor tires for this next part. And Side Guy, we cannot see you, buddy. Can I have you scoot in, honey? We're going to, right up here, bud. There you, there you go. Awesome! We gotta have our John Deere farmer. Okay, so we're gonna take our black and brown paint and we're gonna put some paint into, oh, that's silly, huh? We're gonna put some paint 
onto this paper plate. And then we both have a piece of paper. Hold on one second, Sci Guy. We both have a piece of paper. You maybe couldn't see that. We've got a piece of paper laying here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take tractors and run them through the paint to get some paint on the tires. Silas is running his through. And then you get to take the tractor and run it onto your um, onto your paper. So I'm going to show you on mine. Okay, I'm going to drive my tractor. <gasps> Look at those prints that it left. Isn't that cool? Here's Silas over here. Go ahead, side guy. You can dip it in some more and make some different prints. We've got some different tractors here with different tires. So I'm going to use this one. This one has, goodness, two I have, plus two I plus have, two I plus have two. Of, I have one of these. How many tires all together on this? I have one of these that has three and three. Oh my goodness. Two two. Well, how many tires are there all together on this one? What's two plus two plus two plus two? Eight. Eight, yeah. Okay, that's probably good, buddy. I'm going to run mine in here. This part is the fun part. You get to ah, run your tractor in the paint, and then you get to make some tire prints all over your paper. And it's really cool to see the different types of track prints that they make. How cool is that? Okay, well, Silas and I are going to continue making tire tracks with our tractors. And then, Silas, can we show them one more time our tractors that we made? He's having so much fun running those tractors. It's kind of like we're running it in the mud, huh? They can't see you, buddy. There we go. It's like we're running our tractors in the mud. So now we can set our tractors right there on our cool uh, tractor tire prints, and we're all done. Okay, well, Sci Guy, can you hold up your tractor for our friends and say goodbye, buddy? They can't see you. There you go. We'll see you guys later. Bye for now.